hi welcome to my analytics channel for this video i will demonstrate on how to build a linear regression model that predicts the relationship of the variables or factors to perform our regression model we will be using this data sets as you can see all the data here are converted into numerical form for the purpose of processing to our uh, rapid minor studio okay like for example this one today uh, this refers to friday saturday sunday so that's how we convert this particular nominal data into a numerical form okay same with other uh, attributes okay now let's start to process this data into our rapid minor studio Okay, so let's load our data sets here in our Rapid Miner Studio 8.2 version. So just click on this new process, then the blank process. Then you will load your data by clicking this add data. Then you locate your data. Okay, for me, I save my data in my desktop. Then I have here my data sets. Then we will click this uh, data sets, five record clean data sets. Okay, my data is already clean, but in Rapid Miner, you can clean your data there. Okay, so then click next button. Then next, as you can see, we don't have problem. When you click next, then when you click finish automatically, the Rapid Miner will process your Data is our data. So we have the time, the day, month, year, location, occupancy, alarm, origin, and causes of fire. Okay, so you can check here your statistical okay results of your data per variable. So we have here your minimum and maximum as well as the average. You can click this part so that you can view your chart for this particular variable like this, like that. Okay, and you can check the descriptive statistics of your um, data sets. This is how amazing Rapid Miner is. Okay, now let's build our model. So all you have to do is to click your design or design button, and you are prompted to your Rapid Miner process area where you can build your model. Okay, let's drag our uh, data sets here in the process area. Okay, then if you want to uh, re-inspect your data set, all you have to do is just to connect this node to this result node. Okay, then you can process your data if you want to review. Okay, then that's it. Okay, it's still the same uh, result as you loaded your data. Now let's uh, close this one and go back to our uh, design. Then let's uh, disconnect this one and add our select attributes. Okay, we will select the attributes because we will not use all the attributes. Okay, okay. having this operator, so you are allowed to uh, select some attributes. Okay, just do the connection. Since this is selected, then you can uh, view your parameters tab. Then select your subset for you to uh, select some attributes. Okay, for this uh, particular attributes, we will be using only alarm. Okay, the causes of fire, the location, the occupancy, the origin, and the year. Okay, so these are our selected attributes we are to be used in our linear regression model. Okay, then click apply. Okay, once you click the apply button, then you have to add your set rule because this operator allows you to select your uh, dependent variable. Because in linear regression, you have to identify among the variable, which is your dependent variable, and your independent variables. So you do the connection, and since this is already connected, then you can now select your parameter here. Then for this uh, data set, we will be uh, selecting alarm. 
as our dependent variable. Then you select label for your target rule. Okay, we have already uh, selected our dependent variable. Then, okay, then after this, we have to split our data. You have to find your split data operator. Then drag it here. Okay, so this is our operator for, to split the data. Then do the connection. Then since this is uh, connected, you can now edit your partition. Okay, just click on this part. Then you have to add entry. The first um, partition is for our training data set. Then another partition is for our testing data set, which is 30% of our data sets. Then click OK. Since we have already uh, split our data, then now let's apply our linear regression. Okay, linear regression. Then select this one and put it here. And do the connection. The first partition refers to our training data set to be connected to our linear regression model. Then automatically this partition appear. Then all you have to do to make connection for this partition is you have to apply the model. Model operator. Okay. So we will connect our uh, partition for the testing data sets to, to this um, okay, node unlabel. Then our regression model, okay, model will be also connected to our apply model. Okay, then after this, we will um, select our operator's performance regression. Regression. Select your performance regression. Okay. Then you will connect this. This particular connection uh, is our training data set. So we will connect that because we will be checking the performance of our linear regression model. Connect first our linear regression model to the result. Then now you can be allowed to connect your testing model to the result as well our linear regression okay let's connect it here okay uh, as you observe we have three connections so therefore we're expecting three results here okay so this is how you build your linear regression model then after this you have to run this uh, model by clicking this button okay then there we have it. We have our tab here. These are the results. Okay, let's look first for this linear regression. Okay, this is the statistical result of our regression model. So we have here the coefficient, the standard error, the tolerance, the t-stat, and p-value. This measurement is very critical because you have to understand this uh, matrix for you to um, make further discussion. Okay, for coefficient, uh, this coefficient tells you the uh, positive uh, or negative correlation between independent variables and dependent variables. So this particular um, variable uh, give a positive correlation to the dependent variable. And the location and negative is the negative correlation of our dependent variable. Okay, you can also look at the uh, p-value of our uh, regression model or the result of our regression. We have a standard of 0 0.05 or what we call the threshold, okay, for us to determine if this particular uh, variables are significant. Okay, so as you can see, uh, what's the good thing of this rapid minor? It will provide you the... Um, indicator how significant this variable okay as you can see the the most significant among these variables is the occupancy because the uh the occupancy uh, got or mark uh, four stars as you can see this is less than 0 0.05 okay and we have also here the second one is the origin uh mark a score of 0 0.03 
So this is also less than point zero five threshold. And the last one is our location. For the cost so far, so this is above point zero five. So as you can see, there is no indicator. So this is not uh, so this is not a significant variable for our regression. Our intercept refers to our alarm, so this is our independent variable. It is important that you have a background knowledge on statistics to for you to interpret the result. Okay, let's uh, move on to the um, okay the, our performance okay, of our regression. So we have a result of 0.25 root mean squared error so this root mean squared error is one of the criterion of our regression model and you can have more um, criterion result by just clicking on this design and you can select the performance then we have here um, the criterion if you want to know the square correlation for example the prediction average, the um, squared error, and so on and so forth. Then you can run this one, okay, again by clicking this. Okay, then you have your uh, result. As you can see, we have here the result of our performance vector, the root mean squared error, the squared error, the squared correlation, the prediction average. I can look at this, okay and click okay that's how it is then this is the performance vector so it is important just to know how to read this so that you can discuss this particular measurement or criterion to your um, study okay then you we also look into the apply model so this is our 30 percent of our data set so this is the uh, prediction, okay, 30% is 344 examples. So we have around 1,144 examples for this uh, regression model. So as you can see, we have here the prediction, okay, of the 30% uh, percent of our data sets. Okay, this is how amazing um, rapid minor. Okay, you can check the uh, statistics, the chart, okay, you can click on that and select whatever chart that you would like to use, it depends upon you, okay. Let's go back to our pay model, so this is our model in building our linear regression, okay. I hope that you learned a simple demonstration, okay, and uh, thank you for watching.